Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general reading for February. And Taurus, if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising. Okay, let's start out with your energy. Okay, what is going on with Taurus Spirit? Okay, we have purpose. I know what I am here to do. Yeah, you may be working on some kind of life purpose, Taurus. We have imagination. I embrace and nourish the vibration, excuse me, the creative aspect of my mind. So yeah, I feel like you know, there's something that you're doing. Maybe you're imagining a situation, Taurus. And I feel like there's something that you're bringing to life. There's something that you're doing. You may be manifesting something. Let's get some more energy for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? We have signs and reminders. So you may see signs at this time. You may be reminiscing on some kind of situation that you've been in before. Um, you may be seeing a lot of numbers. And we also have ease and grace. So I feel like at this time you're kind of more relaxed. You're more in the flow of things, Taurus. Um, Beautiful energy. Let's see. Let's get some one more card for your energy. What do we have for Taurus? We have exposed and revealed. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, with the signs and reminders and the purpose, I feel like something, something is really coming to light. Something is really being exposed to you. It's being revealed. Um, if the number 21 may be very important for you. And at the bottom we have a higher view. So I really feel like you are, you're like raising your vibration. You're working on things that are really important for you. Um, number 41. Look at this. We have number 21 and number 41. So those numbers may be very important. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what tarot has to say for Taurus. Messages for Taurus for the higher good. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, yeah, we have the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, I feel like you're there's something that you're thinking about. There's something that you're working on. And the Strength card, wow. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. Three wanted to come out. So we have the Three of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Moon card. So definitely something being revealed. Oh. <laughs> Two want to come out each time. Wow. Okay, the. Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the, the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, loving this energy. Okay, at the bottom, we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, with the Five of Pentacles energy, um, something you may not be seeing and I, I feel like you're leaving this place where you're feeling 
unwanted. You're leaving this place. You're finally coming into the realization that whatever you decide to do, Taurus, is what you is, what is best for you. Oh my God, I can't talk today. So I'm sorry. Um, but I really feel like with this Four of Cups and this Strength card, I feel like you're making a lot of progress, Taurus. I feel like you're thinking about the things that are important to you. You're kind of working on those ideas, you know. And I feel like it's bringing you a lot of strength. You have to have a lot of strength in order to kind of be focused on the things that are important to you. Maybe you're trying to put other people ahead of you. And now it's time to work on Taurus. It's time to do what Taurus needs to do. You need to work on your purpose. Work on what makes Taurus happy. You know, and I feel like you're showing yourself that self-love with this uh, strength card. I feel like you're showing courage. You're working through those feelings of not being adequate enough for other people. You know, um, I feel like there's been a lot that's been taken away from you. And I feel like it, it has left you kind of in doubt and sorrow and grief. And you, you're like tired of this space where things are being taken from Taurus. So you're, you're moving past that energy. Something has been revealed to you to where you're like, okay, you know what? This is it. This is the last thing that's been taken from me. Now I'm working on me. I'm working on Taurus. I'm finding myself. And I'm going to make a new leaf. You know, because we have this Ace of Cups right here. So you've moved away from this doubt. you moved away from this heartache. And you're not focused on what's been taken. Now you're just focused on what is there. And what you love. Some kind of emotions, you know. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like you are really finding yourself at the moment, Taurus. You're really finding out what makes you happy. What does Taurus want to pursue? You know, and I feel like that's being revealed to you. That's being revealed. Your path is now coming out of the shadow and being shown to you. You know, so I feel like, you know, there, there's things that are coming to light for you. You know, behind the sun, behind the moon, we have the sun. So what is now revealed, it makes you open to healing, to happiness, to, you know, whatever it is that you're pursuing. So it's beautiful energy. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. Now, if you are open to love, you know, this is a very good indication that someone is going to make you an offer to love, Taurus. Someone might invite you out on a date or send you a text to see when you're available or, you know, just wink their eye and let you know that they're interested. You know, something like that. But I feel like if you're open to love, Taurus... There's definitely love here with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Now, this can also be you focusing more on yourself. But I, I am getting the feeling that during this month, you know, a new love is going to be exposed and revealed. You know, interesting. Yeah, she's dipping her toes in the waters and testing it out, you know. And she's also covering her cup. She's protecting her cup, you know. But she's... Her, her emotions are still flowing. She's still open and receptive to love. You know, she has her healing, her nurturing power. So I feel like I feel like if this is a love interest coming in, I feel like it's going to be very interesting. And I do really feel like you're at a turning point. You're coming into this good fortune. You're coming into this new thinking with this wheel of fortune. 
this is a turning point for uh, Taurus. You may have a feeling of being more lucky, a feeling of being more grateful, you know. Okay, let's get some more energy for Taurus. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this spirit. The Four of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely finding yourself. You're finding more time to relax and just enjoy the moment. You know, you are kind of going with the flow. And I also feel like this is you pursuing some kind of desire. Maybe you're deep in thought. Look, we're moving from the from the Four of Cups to the Four of Swords. Fours are are very interesting because because fours represent stability. So I really feel like you you may be focusing on your stability at the moment. You know. Okay, let's get some more energy for Taurus. The Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like there are some feelings that you needed to leave behind in order to gain your um, footing. You know, to to find your stability. There's something that that you had to leave behind. And look at this. The Five of Cups is right on the. Um, the seven of swords so whatever has been taken from you you kind of let that go you're not even worrying about the situation because you know that there are better things ahead for you there's more things in store for Taurus so whatever was lost you know you are gonna regain better bigger opportunities you know so I, I feel like you you're you're understanding that those feelings of losing, of not gaining, you know, you they need to be let go of. Okay, of course, two more cards wanted to come out. Of course. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely some kind of offer. You may have a job offer that's coming through, but the Knight of Pentacles is also the Knight of Pentacles is also hard work. This is something that you're doing kind of slow and steady. You're taking it at your own pace. The Knight of Pentacles is also, uh, it could be someone very reliable coming into your, into your presence. I feel like whatever this is, this, this may be communication, but I feel like this person can be trusted. This person is reliable. They're trustworthy. And I feel like, you know, this person also has a lot of patience. We have the... Um, high Priestess. So definitely, definitely we have more confirmation that things are being revealed to you. Things are slowly trying to make sense. And I feel like the mysteries are now being revealed to you. You know, very interesting. The High Priestess is also a card to trust. To trust yourself in this situation. To trust that you're on the right path. That you're moving in the right direction. Trust the universe. Trust the higher power. You know, you may be praying. You may be doing certain things to in increase your spirituality. So I feel like this is also letting you know to trust the process. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so now we have three knights. We have three knights in this reading. The Knight of Swords. Well, whatever is being revealed to you is making you move forward in a way that you're like taking action taking action in the situation <clears throat> the knight of swords can also be you know changes 
coming forward. You're making changes in your life. Okay, you're getting interested now, Taurus. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're making changes in your life. And you are... You may be a little conflicted in the decisions that you have to make. There may be some challenges coming your way. But I, I feel like with, with the Strength card here, I feel like you have the strength to overcome any challenges, any... Um, any adversity that you come through. Yeah, you're supported. You have the Three of Cups. You have support. So whatever conflict this is, whatever challenge this is, you are being supported. You're either being supported by your friends or family, by someone who is very supportive in your situation, or you're being supported by the angels, by the higher power. They're letting you know that they have your back. The Three of Cups can also be a time of celebration. So I feel like with these challenges, I feel like once you overcome this challenge, you're going to have a feeling of celebration. Hmm. And the Knight of Wands. Um, excuse me, the King of Wands. So like I said, if you are open to love, Taurus, there is love here. And I feel like, you know, when, if you accept the offer, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, I feel like it's going to, I feel like it's going to move quickly. I feel like with the Knight of, excuse me, the King of Wands, this is like a new passion, a new venture, a new spark, some kind of new inspiration that you're pursuing that's going to take you to a higher level. Um, something has been revealed to you that's given you some kind of new passion, new fire, a reason to move forward and take action. Yeah, you're going through a transformation. Something is being tra transformed in your life. Something is changing in your life, Taurus. This is endings and new beginnings. Some kind of huge changes. Um, the death card is also like a time to move on. A time to experience totally new experiences um, with the death card. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like whatever changes that you're making, you're kind of holding close to yourself. But I also want to let you know that um, don't make changes that is going to box you in. You know, don't become so introspective that you're kind of boxed into the situation. You're, you're holding yourself prisoner. You're just... Um, moving away from everything that makes you happy. The, the Eight of Swords is self-imposed isolation, you know. So, so don't block yourself in. You also have the world at the bottom. So something is becoming complete. Something, some kind of achievement you have is complete. You've hit one of your goals. You you may have hit more more than one of your goals, but something is complete. You're moving into this new beginning. And it may be because of this transformation here. Yeah, we have the two of swords. So definitely, definitely some choices and decisions that need to be made. And I feel like those choices and decisions are gonna totally go into your favor with this justice card. Um you may be at a crossroads. You may kind of feel like you're at a stalemate. Like those decisions are just too hard to bear. But push through them because you have your karma. This is cause and effect. So something that you're doing, you're pushing yourself on the right path. And you're going to be greatly rewarded for that aspect of it. 
um, with the Justice card. We're going to get one more card and then we're going to go into the Moonology. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're finally finding your stability. I feel like if this is a person coming into your life, this person is going to bring more stability into your life. Um, but Taurus, um, this could, I mean, you can represent this King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like a lot of stability is coming. You're feeling more grounded. You're feeling more like yourself. More like things are finally flowing in your favor. The King of Pentacles could also be bringing you wealth and stability. Um, there may be a new job that you're pursuing or a new venture. And I feel like with the King of Pentacles energy, uh, he's giving you solid ground. You know, it's building on, you know, um, a good investment. Okay. All right. Let's get into the Moonology. What does Moonology have to say? Let's get a few cards. What do we have for Taurus? Spirit. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Look at this. We got the Strength card again. Confidence is the key to your success. New Moon in Leo. So yeah, you have confirmation, Leo. Um, excuse me. You have confirmation, Taurus. You have the strength to pursue whatever it is that you're doing. You have the confidence. You have the know-how. Trust yourself. Okay, we also have Libra energy. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. Definitely. Definitely. Move past where you have always been. And... Get out of that stuck energy. And we have time to release negativity. Exactly. Full moon and Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Releasing the neg negativity out of your life. And I feel like you're doing so. Uh, because I feel like you're releasing the seven of swords and the three of swords. I feel like you're kind of moving past that energy. You're no longer dwelling on what was. Now you're kind of working on what will be with, you know, looking at your purpose. Um, finding more stability in your life. Okay, let's take a look at the manifestation monology for Taurus. What do we have for the manifestation monology for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Reveal what needs to be seen. Exactly. I feel like something is being revealed to you. Something is being exposed. And this may be telling you that, you know, you may need to reveal something within yourself that needs to be seen by the world. Be your true, authentic self, Taurus. Let the world see the beautiful you. There's something that needs to be revealed, that needs to be seen. Okay, let's get one more card for the manifestation monology. And we also have shine, beautiful, more Leo energy. Shine, be your true authentic self. At the bottom, we have Capricorn energy. Take a reality check. So, it's telling you to shine your authentic self, but kind of take notice. You know, there's something that needs to be shown. Something needs to be seen. We're going to go ahead and 
clarify a bit with this deck. What else does Taurus need to see? What else does Taurus need to hear at this moment? Spirits, messages for Taurus. The Three of Swords again. And look, this Three of Swords is no longer piercing the heart. It's it's down here at the bottom. So I feel like whatever disappointment, whatever heartbreak or grief that you were feeling, you're moving past it. You're now you're now bandaging bandaging. <laughs> I can't even speak. You now have a band-aid on your heart. You're healing. You're, you're working past those emotions. So those swords are no longer piercing the heart. They've kind of dropped off. They've been taken out. And the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So you're moving past that energy and you're finding your happiness. You're finding your abundance. You're finding what makes you happy. And I feel like you're pursuing it, Taurus. You've like left that three of swords behind and now you're moving into this ten of pentacles feeling and you're just happy. We have the, the nine of wands. Yes. You're not giving up. You're moving forward. You haven't given up the race. You're going for the finish line. So I, f I feel like you kind of see that ten of pentacles in front of you and you're like, okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So you're not giving up. There's something that you really, really want to achieve. You're setting your sights on something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. So I feel like that's really beautiful. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, I feel like, you know, there may be competition. There may be more work that needs to be done. There may be... Um, time to rest but you know you got to get the building you got to get this structure up whatever it is so yeah it's going to bring you a lot of a lot of happiness you have the queen of cups again so i feel like you with this queen of cups look at this it looks like she's holding her reward and this fish is jumping out of her cup you know, so I feel like there may be some aspects that you don't see yet. There are going to be some surprises along the way. But I feel like these rewards are on their way. And I feel like they're going to make you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment. Uh, you're going to be overjoyed with the success that you're, you're working towards. Um, one more card, please the two of cups like I said if you're open to love Taurus this may be your soulmate this may be someone very special you know now if this is something in business this could also be you starting a partnership but two of cups is usually unions love finding your soulmate and with this with this two of cups right here with the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's taking you on this new journey, this new destination. This is taking you through new feelings. So I feel like if you're open to love and this is a love situation for you, take it how it resonates. But um, I feel like you're, th this is the start of a beautiful romance. You also have the Nine of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like whatever this is, this is something that you've hoped for. This is something that you wished for. This is, you know, happiness, contentment with the Nine of Cups energy. So I really love this reading so far. You're moving in the right direction, Taurus. You're taking action. We're going to get some angel cards because I just feel like doing that. get some angel cards for this situation what do we have for Taurus okay love and peace choose peace let go of the need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time so yeah you have peace 
And we have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Definitely, definitely I'm loving that. At the bottom we have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increasing. Okay, Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave the reading here. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And uh, I'll have all of the uploads done by the end of the day today, I believe. So, yes, you'll be able to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, and Taurus, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.